The DRDO is working on an improved version of their Netra A, E, W and C system MK2 that will be deployed on a larger airborne platform. The system will improve situational awareness by increasing performance in mission parameters, taking use of the aircraft's larger size. The total cost of the project is projected to be over 11,000 crore. Images of the upcoming AWACS being developed by the Center of Airborne Systems, CABS, a wing of the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO laboratory, have appeared on Twitter. The model of the new AWACS has a 240-degree radar similar to the Netra early warning system developed by the CAVS DRDO. It will also have a nose-mounted active electronically scanning array radar that chopped off nose in the model seems to suggest. Last December, India's Ministry of Defence okayed the development of six new AWACS planes to be built by the DRDO and based on modified Airbus A321 jets sourced from Air India. The Netra early warning system was inducted only in 2017 and since then, indigenous AWACS systems developments have been quite rapid. Besides the Netra, the Indian Air Force has the Israeli Falcon system mounted on a Russian 276 platform. The salient features of the new platform are enhanced radar, IFF, ELINT and co-mint capabilities at par with similar systems in the international markets, enhanced communication technologies catering for higher data rates and encryption capabilities and integration with India's integrated command and control center, state-of-the-art multi-sensor data fusion capable of identifying and classifying hostile airborne systems and assessing accurate threat perception. Included in the MK2 version will be DRDO's latest AESA Active Electronically Scanned Array radar that utilizes gallium nitride technology that offers improved detection and tracking performance and better cooling of the main radar unit. The aircraft will also be equipped with DRDO developed synthetic apertures radar as a secondary sensor to create high resolution images that will also be used for imaging stationary ships and small vessels coastal and overland surveillance. 12 mission operator stations capable of carrying our command and control operations in air to neutralize enemy forces and enhanced endurance more than 7 hours and altitude more than 36,000 feet. News Desk, Comedy Global.